हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन योर लाइफ माय सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी व्हाट इज दिस बुलियन लॉजिक सो लॉट ऑफ यू गाइस माइट थिंक दैट दिस माइट बी डील विद ट्रू एंड फॉल्स यस ऑफ कोर्स दिस डील विद ट्रू एंड फॉल्स बट अगेन देयर आर सम अनदर कंस्ट्रेंट्स दैट वी आर गोना सी इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट अस जंप डायरेक्टली ऑन टू वीएस कोड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट गोस बिहाइंड दिस बुलियन लॉजिक so here i am on my index dot sorry boolean dot js page okay so what i am going to do let's say first of all i will log out something here log out means console dot log okay so first of all i am just comparing to uh, with my two okay with the help of this triple equal to equality operator i am just running this thing and this will definitely give me true okay so next thing i am doing uh, let's say i am storing this thing to equal to 2 in one variable like this we can say yes and let's let's say we are storing one another thing that is 4 equal to 4 right and yes uh, let us see now how this how this thing will work let's say i am consoling console dot log and i'm checking whether a uh let's say sorry let's compare a equal to equal to b and what it what does it will give me let us see by running this program okay see it is giving me true answer right it is giving me true but why you might think that this 2 and 2 and 2 and 4 are so not equal things they are not equal number as well so why does it giving me true so in that case our let's say uh, what is the value of this particular variable right now see if we are comparing to equal to 2 it will gonna give me true and let's say if i am comparing this thing like uh so it will also gonna give me true so here i am what, what i am doing i am just comparing true with true so definitely the answer should be 2 that's very correct observation so let's say in case of 4 we took 5 uh, over here and simply we are trying to run run, run this thing then in that case i am getting false see okay and why i am getting false although the one value one of the value is true a is true and second one is false so why i am getting like this false so in that case only this boolean logic comes comes into picture so let's say if i uh, let's say someone ask me to write a program for finding number for finding sorry finding number which is which is greater uh, let's say which is greater than great o oh, o oh, o oh, greater than 4 and less than 8 so in this case what i am going to do see here are two conditions first thing is that the number should be greater than 4 but not equal to 4 and the number should be less than 8 but not equal to 8 it should be it should have the values 4 5 6 7 7 okay the, there are only four possibilities right now apart from decimal number okay so how to do this thing first of all let's say i want to write the program uh, in one i want to compare this thing in one statement only so first of all what i can do i can compare let's say uh let's say my let's say n is the number and uh let's say we are we are giving it a value of 6 first of all okay so how i will compare it let's say if i am comparing this n it n should be less than 4 okay at first case and second case is that my n should be not less than l should be greater than 4 and my n should be less than 8 right so how to how to check whether this is uh, my number is getting uh, in between these two statements or not right so if i do one thing i just do console dot log dot log n greater than 4 and in the next line if i do console dot log this second thing separately and let us now see Uh, what i am getting in my output okay so if i am running this program i am getting true true right so my both the statements are two but 
but let's say if i want wanted wanted to write this statesman statements in only one line then in that case what i am going to do see uh, in this case we are not going to check the equality we are just comparing whether these both statements are true or not if these both statements are true then only uh, my program is going to execute finally right so that's where the boolean logic comes into picture so for that we have uh, uh, different kinds of uh, operators okay let me introduce you first of all that to that particular operators that we have so in this in this case only our boolean logic comes into picture and where are my pains oh my god sorry guys yes so we have boolean operators right boolean operators or you you may call it any uh, whatever you want so first of all the first operator that we have is and operator right to compare two values second one is what we have or operator right third one is we have not operator and these operators are represented by specific specific symbols so and is represented by and and or is represented by what this single line vertical lines and not is represented by this exclamatory mark so clear up till this point okay okay no issues man that's right okay so the next thing is how how we are comparing the two values first of all let's say i want to compare the two values that we have uh, given uh, in this so we are comparing this n i want the, my n to lies between 4 sorry like not like this i want my 4 and at here n should be greater than 4 and n should be less than 8 so that this is the mathematical uh, expression that we want that we have but we cannot write the same thing in javascript as well for that we we will be needing this and an or operator okay so in that case how this is going to work see i can write simply if my n is greater than 4 and 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 i can write the second statement over here okay and this is going to execute when my both statements are true because we are using an operator okay so see when i'm doing this i'm getting true in my output but how this is possible let me show you with the help of uh, whiteboard first of all okay so let's say we are having a, a and operator in first case so in the case of and operator if both values are true let's say true and true we are comparing truth values then only the output is true otherwise if we take true and false then in that case my output will be false if we take false and true in that case also my output will be false and if i get false and false then to definitely my output is going to false so for and operators both the values should be true then only it will give us a true result right and if we compare this thing with or operator so in or operator my true and true will definitely get me get you true true thing right and if if both values are false then only i am getting false in the output otherwise if you take if if oh sorry i am representing this in a very uh, wrong way actually instead of and there should be or operator here so or is represented like this yeah so if i'm taking true or false it will definitely gonna give me true only if i'm taking false or true it will gonna give me true so only if false both statements are false and we are using or operator then only my output is gonna be false so that's the thing okay with or operator and not simply opposite of anything if my if opposite of true is false and opposite of false is true so that is the only thing no issues okay and if we are using using not in 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 front of this statement then it it is going to just alter my result from false to true okay that's the understandable thing so no issues in this so let us see first of all with the help of code how it is going to work okay see what i am doing here i am comparing my n by 4 with my 
and by it simply comparing see i'm saving this thing i'm running this and i'm getting truth in the output so that means that my n lies between 4 and 8 so that's the truth statement we are go gonna deeper in this with the help of if and else statement but uh, that part is not uh, covered been uh, covered till 8 so if you want to learn if and else statement just do one thing just go to the web development playlist on dev town channel and in that uh, in javascript section you are going to find that thing if else statement okay so that's the very basic thing to know okay so after that let me show you by using uh, or operator as well so let's say if we are getting a program like this writer program to find whether whether my string contains any vowel right correct so in that case uh, how i am going to write this thing is simply in if condition i am going to put whether my see what we are going to do we are going to check the string let's say we have a string by the variable name str and the string is day of town so in the string you can see that there are vowels v e is there o is there there are two vowels so i am going to check that i am going to just uh, see whether str of i first of all uh, before str of y we are going to see each and every alphabet we need to visit each and every alphabet and and we need to check whether these alphabet belongs to any vowel group so for that what i will do i will check let's say uh, let's consider the str of i as i am visiting every element so i need to check whether my str of i is equal to like a or let's say we are checking this thing first of all we will check this thing so there are five vowels right last one is e uh, u sorry here is o i and uh, e we have okay so i have these much statement this a e i o u so i need to compare all the uh, alphabets with these particular words or alphabets again so in this case we will use or right if my any of the statement is getting true then my output is going to uh, my output should be true because uh, if a single vowel is also present then uh, the result should be true right so in this case we are going to use this or operator so this is the example of or operator yeah so in this way these uh, boolean logics works guys okay the another interesting way i need to show to you guys is let's say i am using uh, two let's say two i am using and uh, two greater than five greater than nine i am using let's say right let us see what does it give us i am running this thing and yeah oh, sorry my bad i am just i just forgot to come in that line see right now i am getting what uh, 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 uh. yeah so right now i am getting false as output for this line number 18 but how does it happen first of all okay let me do one thing see here all the statements are wrong first of all it is uh, it is going to compare this two statement after that it is going to compare this two statement and it is giving me false in output so let's say let's make this first statement truth and oh sorry it should be 14 if you want to make this statement truth and let's run right now still it is giving me false because my one statement is failing and here and is being used if my all statements are true then only then only this is going to give me the truth answer okay so in this way this boolean logic is used in javascript so i hope you guys have got the idea how this boolean logics works in the javascript so with that if you haven't check out our web development playlist then do check it out on our web development playlist has been made in playlist section on our channel and if you are new to the channel then do subscribe to the channel and with that i will see you guys in next video with some interesting topic till then goodbye